Hey, if you want to be really bored for the next 15 seconds, keep watching. If not, go ahead and skip ahead. Hey everyone, I just wanted to drop in here, you know, and say some things that have been really on my mind. Uh, as you know, I have been thinking a lot about confidence and communication. And to be totally honest with you, there are words and phrases in your speaking that are wasting your time and ruining your credibility. Time and credibility are of the essence when you are speaking in front of an audience. And these are sneaky little filler words and phrases. They're not your traditional filler words like um, uh, so, and and. These are phrases that have become part of our everyday language. And while they sound like they're including the audience, what they're really doing is, again, wasting your time and making you not seem like you know what you're talking about. So let's explore five phrases that are wasting your time and ruining your credibility. Number one, to be honest with you. To be honest with me, were you not being honest with me before? Do you see how that statement somewhat contradicts itself? If you have to differentiate between what is honest and what is not, then we're going to assume that everything that you said that wasn't with that clarifier is not honest. So cut that one out. Number two, as you know. As you know is a great phrase to include the audience and have them recall previous learning. But number one, it can sound really condescending. Well, YouTube viewer, as you may possibly already know, the tone is a little passive aggressive. And if you're having them recall information, don't use that phrase. Just simply state whatever it is that you want them to review. So cut that one out too. Number three, in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, and you know, I'm just, I'm not that credible of an expert. I don't have experience or expertise in this area, but I was thinking that maybe somewhat, I didn't really understand that maybe I could possibly express. Do you see how that's kind of just annoying? Look, I understand that there are some times where you want to give an opinion and you don't feel like it's your place to do so. Maybe you don't have the experience or expertise that the other people in the conversation have. However, when you have an opinion, have the opinion. Don't discredit yourself. And even if it's not necessarily your turn to speak, even if it's not your place to give an opinion, you can still come at it from a range of curiosity. I'm curious about this. If you're in the meeting, if you're in the discussion, then you're there for a reason. And so you get to make sure that your opinion is heard valid and clear. Number four, I just wanted to say, we hear this a lot in social media. Hey everyone, I just wanted to drop in here and I just wanted to say, and yes, it's an interesting lead in, but it's so much more powerful for you to just say what you want to say. So again, cut that one too. Number five, I'm not as good as the previous speaker. Look. I totally get it. There are some times when you are about to speak and the person before you just rocks it, brings the house down, huge standing ovation. And then you're left with this doubt of, can I produce the same results? Look, if the previous speaker rocked it and you're feeling uncomfortable, remember that you are not the previous speaker. You're probably there for a different reason, so don't discredit yourself. A better way to acknowledge the speaker's skills is simply by acknowledging their skills. Hey, how about so-and-so? Weren't they fantastic? I'm so excited that I got to see them, and now I get to share some information with you. Now, this is not a comprehensive list, but it's a good start for you to be recognizing where am I wasting time and undercutting myself in front of an audience. Hey, if you like that, like that, and as always, make sure that you come off mute, speak up your story, and until next time, we'll see you soon.